recording or not. Um, I'm trying to test out doing lives. This is my first situation where I'm doing a live and I don't expect anybody to be watching, which is why I'm doing it so late. It's probably, well, it's not probably, it's about 1.11 a.m. Saturday morning. So I figured that I would do my lives, I mean, I would do my Dollar Tree hauls live so that I don't have to edit anything. I can just record it and then it's up and running. And so I don't know how this works or anything. I don't know anything about a chat. I don't know about the buttons. So let's see. Uh, chat viewing options. All messages are visible live chat. Not that I expect anybody to be here. But anyways, this is a test, but this is a real Dollar Tree haul. So I'm just going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. And if you happen to be up late at night and you want to say something to me, give me some encouragement, um, some tips, then you're more than welcome to do so. But I'm going to start off. I'm just, I've got a bunch of uh, baskets full of stuff next to me and I'm just going to start pulling stuff. But I just dropped my glasses, so hold on. Okay, trying to be prepared. So in case I need to read something. I got my glasses on standby. Actually, let me just put them on my head. Let's get ready. So this is interesting. I've never done a live. They seem easy. So I don't know if this is working or how this is working, but we're going to jump right into this haul. Um, and I'll look up every now and then if I happen to have a chat or somebody watching who can't sleep, then um, I'll check for the comments, but I found a lot of cool electronic items, and this is one. This is the um, heavy-duty device charger, and it's really heavy-duty cord. It's a long cord. Um, it's got the USB port here, so if you have an older car and you don't have the USB port built into your car, this is great to get for $1.25. And they did have one I saw online, not at the Dollar Tree, but they had one with the connection here for um, iPhones. And it'll say it right here if it's for iPhone, but this is the micro USB. So this is what this connection looks like. But it's still great to have. I still use it for my cameras and other things. But for a buck 25, it's heavy duty. It's gonna last you it's for your car. But more importantly, it gives you that USB port that most uh, older cars don't have built into them like the new ones do. Next in this basket, I found some Nuckies, and these are the grips for the phones, and they had quite a few. This is the first one that I found, and it's just a silver um, button. It's not a mirror or anything, it's just a silver button, and you can see on the back where you basically, this thing twists like this, and then you can pull it up and it has a little bungee cord in there. And then you can just stick your hand under there like this. And then you can hold your phone. And it's really tight and it makes it easy to hold your phone. I would show you on my phone, but um, I can't because I'm using it to record. So what you do is this thing turns when you put it in the grooves like this, you turn it right and then it's solid. And then when you turn it left, then you can pull it open, stick your fingers underneath it. And it's got a real strong adhesive on the back of this to stick to your phones. Like my phone case has that floating glitter inside of it. And most things that I stick on there won't stay. But this sticky is very, very strong. So I was very happy with that because all the other ones I tried to stick on my phone didn't work. Now, I went to another store and I found some other uh, designs in a different type. And these are the ones that I found in the other stores. And this is a glitter design. This one comes with an extra adhesive on it. And it's magnetic. Like these two, they stick together. So the magnet is... I don't know where exactly the magnet is on here, but it's magnetic. And so I found this design with the cute little glitter. Then they had this leopard. I, I keep saying leopard. I guess it's leopard. This animal print. Kind of like a shiny metallic animal print. They had oops, another animal print. 
and this is like fabric. So you can see it's like a little fur, like a fabric animal print. And then this one that I just dropped is the unicorn. So, and when I was purchasing these, the clerk who was ringing me up was like, oh my gosh, we have these. They sell those now at Walmart for much more. I think they're like five bucks at Walmart. But again, these are the four different kind. I really like these. And you know, we're always gonna be needing phones, upgrading phones. So I don't know what the, once the sticky wears off, what they look like or how long they'll last, the bungee cord part of it. But for $1.25, it's a great item to purchase. Um, they also had this item. Let's see, here we go. So they also had this item called a phone ring and desk stand. Now this is cool because Let's see, I have one open here. Let me just show you how it works. Here we go. So this, it looks like this. And this is actually a mirror. This is what the packaging looks like. Now here's the one that I opened up so that I can show you how that works. So you see the mirror? And then it has a little adhesive on the back. And it's thin and flat which is cool it's not going to take this is actually thinner than this nuckies back here see that well maybe they're about the same maybe they're about the same i felt like it was a little thinner so here's the adhesive now these will only stick to a flat surface or directly on the phone but you open it up this way you pull out that one loop and then this one opens up so now you've got this stuck to the back of your phone. And then, so you've got it stuck on your phone now that you can stand it up like this, or you can do it like that and use this as a stand this way, or, I mean, there's different ways that you can use this. You can fold it up and just have it short like that. And then it you can pretty, you, you can pull it back like this. So there's multiple ways, and then you can also, um, because you see how tight this is, this isn't real loose, so it holds whatever you bend it. You can stick your fingers in here, and how did they do that part? Like if you needed to hold your phone in your hand to do a selfie, you can stick your fingers in there like that and hold your phone, like this could be your phone like that. So this one's real cool, it's nice and versatile, and um, the only reason that I didn't you put this one on my phone is because my phone has that case where it's got water and glitter. So they specifically say this won't adhere to that type of surface or else I would have used this one. And it has a cool little mirror and it's got a little weight to it. It's not heavy, but you can tell it's really made, you know, pretty good. So there was that. And then I found some wall taps that I needed. I don't, I, I saw these, but I kind of hesitated because I wasn't sure of the quality of these things. So if you use these and they work pretty well, let me know. But I, I don't know, like a buck 25 for these, I figure either they won't work well or they won't last long if they do work. Uh, next I have, let's see here. I found a cute little, um, earphone case they call it a tech case but in pink and white plaid has a little pocket in there for your headphones you can even use this for money and you can put change in here or if you had like a little round lip gloss or something you can put hair pins in here it's not just for techie type stuff and if you just have something small, you put your jewelry. This could be like a little jewelry box when you're traveling. So these little types of things, especially the ones that zip up, have great uses. And that's why I like to get items like that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I got another uh, phone tap, wall tap, wall tap, USB wall tap, um, because I needed a couple of them. I got this one in black, and then they also had it in white. So I'm hoping that these work pretty good. Um, then another item that I found was this 
20 LED ultra slim wire light set. And these are great to use for craft projects or if you wanna just light up some little item in a corner where you don't have electricity and you just need like a little hint of light or some type of ambiance. So the, this is great for that. This is what the battery pack looks like. It looks like it takes about three batteries on this one. This seems to be one of the larger ones I've seen. I think normally they have the two battery pack. So, and then you can see the string of lights here in the corner. So these are great to have if you're a crafter. Um, I bought some parts or gift bags, I should say. I was gonna say party bags. These little gift bags I like to have on hand, especially during the holidays. These are three pieces and they're nice. They're a good size, they're small. They're not too small and they're not too big. In fact, I just uh, finally caught up with my gardeners to give them their holiday <laughs> uh, gifts, which is a shame, I know, but I just caught up with them to give them their gifts and I used these blue ones for them because they were, you know, obviously they're men. So they have these in blue as well. And they have them in just a plain brown paper bag, brown. And again, great to have on hand. They're a great size to use for gifts. It's not too big and not too small. And then of course they had pink, so you know I had to get some pink. So again, there are three gift bags for a buck 25. I do believe I bought these when they were still a dollar. So an even better brand, I mean, better deal for me. This was something that I thought was cool. It's called O's Little Book of Calm and Comfort. And O meaning Oprah Winfrey. And I, it was wrapped in plastic, so I couldn't open it in the store to see what it was like. So um, it was wrapped in plastic, but now uh, I've opened it because I wanted to read it and I didn't realize that it said, did it say it on here? Uh, it said it on the back, three CDs. So I didn't realize this was a CD set, but it sold for $19.99. And I thought that was a great um, item to have, especially if it's uplifting and positive words that they have on here. And so what it looks like, you just slide it out the box. It didn't register in the store, but when you look at the shape of the box and everything, you can kind of see, oh, it is CDs. And so you open it up and it's three CDs included in this packet. Now I haven't listened to them yet, but it says calm and comfort. Um, and on the packaging, I think it says, um, your deepest struggle can, if you're willing and open, produce great strengths. So it's a thoughtful collection of soul-soothing writing. And I guess people are reading this to you, reading these little collections of uh, these uplifting, I don't know if they're stories or just inspirational quotes, but I'm going to listen to them probably in the car when I can really focus on it and see what it's about and see if it's something that I like. I found this Bare Necessities Wet and Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is something that I just got to play around in if I ever want to learn how to use makeup. But for the most part, I normally use the darker shades to cover my gray hairs when they start showing on the sides. And then the other ones just kind of sit there. <laughs> but I thought this was a pretty good item to get for buck twenty-five. And if I ever did want to use it for any other purposes, I could do that. So it's good to have on hand for a reasonable price. Let's see what else is in this basket. Okay, that basket is empty. So one down. And let's slide this one over here next to me and see what's in this one. All right. Just sit it on my lap, make it even easier. Okay, let's hear some beauty items. So I thought this was a fun item. This is a satin eye mask and it says, leave me alone. <laughs> and I thought that was so fun and so cute. Now they've got it sealed really good. Let's try to open it. 
see what it says outside of it. So it's a nice, thick, smooth. And then it's got the band on the back to close it. Pretty good quality. Feels comfortable on the face. I liked it. I like that in the store and I think it's a good quality item. And then they had another one. I'm not gonna open this one, but I'll show you the other design, which I thought was cute. And it's just sleeping eyes. So this would be obviously great to put in a beauty basket or a beauty gift set. So um, I picked those up for those reasons. Now, you know I'm always buying wraps for my head, so I found some more, like I'm wearing tonight. That's this one. Whenever I find something in black, because I wear black a lot, I always get two of them. So that's what this one looks like. Now these normally, when they come came out with these originally, they were all different patterns. And this is the first time that I saw them in solid colors, which I was really happy about. So because I've been looking specifically for a black solid one with a rich black color like this and not a faded out color. So I got this one. And then I don't know if you can tell the difference. Oh yeah, you can. This is a navy blue because I wear black and navy blue a lot when I'm walking and working out. And then they had this gray. Now this gray is a light shade of gray. So it's not the usual gray that I'll get with my uh, sweats or tennis shoes, but nonetheless, I got it. So these are the three colors that they had. I don't think they had any other colors because I probably would have got it. And I was hoping that they had this, they had them in red. But again, these are the, the head wraps that they're long as well. Um, I can actually take one off to show you how long it is. That way you get an idea um, how much hair you can cover. Like if people have uh, dreadlocks, they're good for that as well. So watch how long this is. Can you see that? That's pretty doggone long. I can't see, I can see through it. So this is nice and long. And if you have dreadlocks that aren't too long, or even if you do have ones that are long, you can really uh, get some good coverage of your head. And then this, the car that it comes on gives you all the different ways that you can wear it. And you could probably think of even more. So these are great. I was hoping, like I said, they would have some other solid colors like red or, you know, me a hot pink or something like that. But I'll take what I can get when I can get it. The next thing I got was this soap dispenser. These are new items that they're putting out um, for your all these soaps that they are uh, now selling, like the soft soaps, the Tom soaps, um, the safeguards, all of those simplies, those big, huge bottles. So these are great to use those soaps if you buy those soaps with because it's a clear container once you take the label off and you can put this pretty much anywhere in your house. But I got, they had a taller one, much taller than this one. Probably was about maybe that long. And I didn't like that one. I felt that was too big. And this is a pretty good size. It says it's, um, oh, here we go, 25.3 ounces. So that's a pretty good size to get quite a bit of item, uh, product in here. Soap, shampoo, conditioner, dish soap, whatever you want to use it for. Um, so I got these to try. I'm not sure where I'm going to use them yet, but I know I'm going to use them for something. In fact, here are some of the soaps that they had. These Tom's brands, um, and everybody knows if you know if you're into uh, like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, you know that you get this soap at those stores. Mainly, I think I've seen this at Trader Joe's, and this is the Soft Rose um, scent. And I try. It's a prebiotic soap, moisturizing hand soap. Um, and I think it has no parabens. It's all natural products in here. And I tried um, the mint. They had a mint peppermint. I'm sorry. They had a peppermint scent. And I've used this one. I bought one just to test it out to make sure I like it. And it, the texture is different than any other soap that I've used before. It actually looks, <laughs> when it comes out, it to me, it looks a lot like um, 
a product that is generated by a mill. So I'll just leave it there, but it kind of is like that to me, but it's really, it's like a clean, it's like it's a cleanness to it. It's a cleanness to it. It's not like your normal soap that you're used to, but I like, it's like, it feels really clean though. So you can tell the difference between this and like a soft soap and any other soft, soft soap, soft, I mean, slippery type of soap. This is just when you rinse it off, your hands feel fresh and clean. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, this is the gentle lavender scent that they had. So we had the, the rose peppermint lavender. And then this one is fresh apple. And they are all 12 fluid ounces. Well, maybe you can see that, but it's 12 fluid ounces. And then the last scent that I got is Blood Orange. And because it's natural, I don't expect the scents to be really pronounced because it is a natural product. But again, I like the clean, clean that it gives. So I'm happy with that. Um, I found this color me pink hair color and conditioner and of course I you know I don't know what made me buy this because of course I'm not going to color my hair pink but what I thought when I picked it up and I probably won't do this but in the store this was like a impulse kind of a buy and I thought maybe I could dye part of Lacey's hair pink Lacey's my little multi boo I'm sorry my Maltese dog and she's all white hair. And I thought maybe do like the little tips of her feet or something, uh, color them pink. But I won't do that, so don't attack me. But that's why I bought this. I just, it was a spur of the moment type of thing. And I'm like, I'm never going to use this for my hair, especially my gray hair. I would be walking around looking crazy with some pink gray hair at the roots and then black on the ends. That would just be ridiculous. So um, I found some more head uh, wraps for little girls. This is the Carter's brand. There's two that go around the entire head, like head band wraps. These are cute, great quality. And there's no price on the back, but they probably sold for maybe three or five dollars or something. Um, I found this ultimate white whitening dental strip with activated charcoal. Um, when I was at TJ Maxx and I was looking for something during the holidays, I saw a lady in the store purchasing this. And I looked and I said, I've seen those. And I told her, I said, they sell those at the Dollar Tree. And she was like, oh, really? I said, yeah, they have them there now. So I said, um, they're only a buck. This was before the dollar twenty-five. And when I looked at the price at uh, TJ Maxx, it was $5.99 for this box. So I'm like, that's crazy. So I decided to give it a try and see what the hoopla is about. I've never used them before, but that little uh, episode with that lady just made me want to try it since she was willing to pay $6 for it. They had these uh, Sure Scents back, the Poo Pourri version. Um, they changed the packaging and they changed the name to Toilet Bowl Spray. And then they have the, what do they call this yellow scent? Uh, lemon scent for the yellow and lavender for the purple. So this is different packaging. I'm assuming it's the same. I really like this scent. This one's cool, but this one is my favorite if it's the same. I don't know that it's the same because I don't know if it's just a packaging change or if it actually um, is a different uh, company doing this with a whole different product. But these are definitely good to have for obvious reasons. So, you know, if you need that in your home, then pick some up. They have them on and off. Next, I found uh, these reusable makeup removing rounds. It's a three pack, comes like this. And inside the three pack, they're all looped together and they're very soft. And they have like foam in the middle, kind of furry on the top. And they're three and they're reusable to use to take off your makeup or 
to just put on like I guess toner or just clean your face at the end of the day um, but I thought this was not only great because it's reusable but great for the environment and uh, let's see if it says anything special about these it just says Sai S-A-I-E Sai reusable beauty rounds um, machine wash warm do not bleach tumble dry with low heat and do not iron and do not dry clean so that's what it says as far as the care of them but i thought this was great and you don't have to buy all those wipes you can just use these reusable rounds and just keep them in rotation use them wash them and then reuse them and help leave a cleaner footprint and it just says 100 percent machine washable on the packaging. Here we have a three pack of Filling Good Facial Oils. Very fun. This kind of reminds me of Sally. Is it Sally Frank? Lisa Frank. It reminds me of Lisa Frank type artwork. And it's three cents. It says lavender, tea tree and lavender, rose hip oil, and evening primrose oil. And honey and honey and something oh honey and tiger grace. Never heard of that. But those are the different scents of these oils. And they're facial oils. And then you can see on the bottle the different uh herbs that correspond with the different scents. And these bottles are how big are they? Common Collected Rosy and Ready Remedy and Repair. It says here, their tape, the tape is over it. It looks like, let's see if I can, 1.7 ounce bottles. So you can see it right here, kind of, if you look down up in there. Shows you how big they are. And it says, our oils are formulated to smooth heal and rejuvenate the skin. Use daily to give face and body a healthy glow. Okay, so we'll see about that. I like to keep my skin moisturized. I do have oily skin already in the T-zone, so I don't really need to add too much oil on it, but I'm open to giving it a try. Next, I found these cute little lip smacker lip gloss or lip smacker lip balms uh best flavor forever lip smacker and so the one design is the bubba is that how you say it boba or bubba bubble tea bubble tea design these are like those uh friends ones that i'm going to show you in a minute um but this is what it looks like and then they had the other one, the matcha latte with the little straw in the cup. Then this one has the little bubble at the top. And here's a picture of what it looks like once you take the top off. So the top part has the lip gloss on it. And my hand's not pretty too steady, but hopefully you can see that. And the same thing here on this one, it's the top part where the product is. So I thought those were cute. And then speaking of those, they had these original ones that came out um, for the TV show Friend franchise. And these are much smaller. So they had this one. Does it say what scent this is? Glasses. Um, strawberry. Strawberry Frappe is what this one is and it's 0 0.14 ounces versus seven or 0 0.26 ounces so you can see the difference in size and then the other friends one they had is this black coffee flavor i don't know that i like that because i don't like coffee and then they had this one vanilla latte flavored and then the last one they had is this 
iced coffee flavored. So again, I don't know if I'll like any of these coffee ones. If they're too coffee, too much coffee flavor in it, I probably won't like them. And then the last item in this beauty basket are these nail strips. And they're a hot pink with a like a bling, silver bling going across it. I wanted to say glitter, but it's kind of more like a, just a little blingy silver strips going across. Almost like animal print-ish, if you will. But these are um, just the ones that you put on your real nail. They're not a fake nail. So these are good sometimes to strengthen your nails. But I'm trying to do the natural thing with my nails and let them grow out because... Every time, even when I use those adhesive strips, it seems like they take off a layer of my nails and my nails get weak from doing that. So I'm just trying to go natural with my nail care and let them just get strong on their own, just keep them moisturized and clean and all that type of thing. All right, next basket, try not to knock anything down. I hear Lacey barking. She's being difficult. Okay. So let's slide this over here. All right. So this beauty basket consists of, this is the Global Beauty Gummy Bear Exfoliating Lip Scrub. I use this in my little lip care uh, video. And well, I didn't use this one, but I showed this one um, as an option because I have this one. And then I also had this mask. So I had this scrub and this mask, this cotton candy and collagen replenishing lip mask. I show you how I use it in my video. Um, and then I have the scrub. And then I also have the pink scrub, the fruity pink scrub. I must have hauled it already because it's not in here. But um, these are great. I haven't, if I use this one, I'm sure it works the same, but they do a real good scrub. And I have that little lip applicator thing that you can use along with the scrub to scrub my lips. And then I use this mask. So these are great to have, especially during the winter if you're in a, a climate where it's really dry, um, which winter and wind, we're getting a lot of wind, we're getting heat, so it is drying on the lips. So I try to keep my lips um, cared for and maintained. Um, they had this facial foam clear uh, face cleaner. It says Clear Solutions. And I've never tried this one before. I tried their other charcoal one that I like. And so I saw this one and wanted to give this a try. And it is a great 3.5 fluid ounce size. You get quite a bit of product in here. And if it works anything like the other one, then a little bit will go a long way. So this is a great item to have and it will last. Um, and my foot care, because I'm really focusing on a lot of self care. Um, I got this for when I soak my feet in the tub to help uh, brush off the dead skin because again, I walk every day. And I got this for my fingernails to clean up under them um, because when you wash your hands, just you're scrubbing the top of your nails, but you really need to clean up under them. So these brushes are good to help get up under your fingernails. So like, when you see a doctor getting ready to do surgery and they do all that washing and scrubbing and they use a little brush, plus they have a little thing that they use to go under the fingernails. So that's what I got this brush for. And then this is for the feet. So more self-care products to have on hand. Um, this is a great deal to have um, on hand, these vitamin C uh, face wipes. And you get 60 wet cloths in here. And they are, again, Global Beauty Care. And they are cleansing cloths. And these I use at the end of the day when I want to, before bed, and I want to wash my face off. And mind you, I don't wear makeup or anything. I just, 
as you go through the day, you still collect oils and dirt and stuff on your face. So these things are great and it makes it easy to just pull these out and clean your face off before you go to bed and just keep your pores clean and open. And this thing is heavy and moist and it feels like a really great quality and I like how it opens right here. And then, you know, it seals up as well as it closes up there and it snaps closed. Good quality product. So I keep a lot of these facial wipes on hand for those reasons. And it says helps simulate collagen synthesis and skin cell regeneration. So this is a um, good, good product to keep on board to maintain good skin care. Um, they had a couple of lip masks that I look forward to using these. They had these out during the holidays, Peppermint Twist and Winter Berry. Winter Berry, Peppermint Twist. I'm not sure what they look like. I've never used this type of facial mask before, but I imagine they look like this and maybe they just stick on your lips. So um, just another way to maintain my lip care, another product to use in conjunction with my lip scrub so I can rotate um, you know, which, I, which products I wanna use when I do my lip care routine. And this says soothing and moisturizing. And this one is conditioning and hydrating. So gives you a choice on what you need at the time you need to, that you're planning to do your lips. They have this mini gel lamp and I use a lot of their gel uh, nail polish. I don't know if it will work with the gel polish that I use and have, but you know, for buck 25, it's good to have on hand. So I do have uh, one set of gel polish that someone gave to me where you actually do need a light. So I, I've had it for a while. So hopefully it's not dried out. So I do know that if that one re that one does require a light, I can use it for that one, but it's a color that I don't normally wear, but I can at least play around with it. Um, this is another great deal on some washcloths, these Yardley um, disposable washcloths, alcohol-free, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E, and these are huge. You only get 18 in this pack, but these are huge, like almost like a wash, wash rag size, cloths that you could use like in the shower or if you're um, traveling at the beach somewhere where you really need a good size and I like how soft and moist it feels and again it's alcohol free with aloe vera chamomile and vitamin E so it's going to be great for your skin and um, you know helps you stay clean and fresh if you're out and about or if you have kids around in your life and you're always going to need something to wipe things down with. These are 12 inches by 8 inches, so that's a pretty good size cloth. And again, there's 18 in this package. So these are definitely good to have on hand. And let's see what else here. I have this odor eliminator, and it says new car fresh scent. That's what that means. And it says erases foul odors from smoke, mold, food, and pets for home, auto, boat, and RV. So I thought this was definitely great to have on hand because some I bought it for Lacey's crate because sometimes it stinks because, you know, dogs, they hang out outside. They don't wear shoes. So um, sometimes their little area can get stinky. So if this can, uh, you know, before I wash her bed, uh, remove the odor and calm it down when it does stink from time. It doesn't stink all the time, but every now and then it does. And then if I, that's what I got this for, something that I can use in the meantime until I can get to the weekend to wash her uh, bed and crate. So hopefully that will work um, and take away some of that odor. But I try to stay on top of it, but every now and then, you know, sometimes it just gets a little funky in her crate. Um, these are more air fresheners that they had, Mediterranean Sage, Room Mist, and they had these different uh, scents in these. Uh, they have Ocean Breeze, Room Mist, and then these are all two fluid ounces. This is my favorite scent. Then they have Royal Linens. 
These are great to have around the house when you just want to spritz an area if people are coming by and you want them to just walk into a fresh room that with a nice smell. Just these are great to have in every room. Um, this is the white gardenia scent. And they're nice and small in size, so you can just hide them behind something on a dresser where they're not necessarily visible for people to see or hide them in your bathroom or keep them in a guest bedroom or bathroom. So in case people, you know, want to just refresh the room, this is a uh, Lavender Dreams that it's there. And it's a good little amount for that. It's not something that you would use every day, but something that's good to have. Um, so it's been about 40 minutes. I think I'm going to stop there and see how this uh, live happened. Oh, somebody just said, good morning, Mickey. I think you're my first Janubia 68. Good morning. This is my first live and I'm going to be doing all of my Dollar Tree hauls live because I don't, hopefully I don't have to edit this. I'm hoping that's how it works so I can just be one and done. So good morning to you. Thanks for saying hello. And um, I don't know how this is coming across, but it is 1.52 in the morning, Saturday morning for me. I am a late night person and I am less disturbed during these hours and I just can't sleep. So I figured I'd be productive. And then when I... am, I'm hoping that I don't have to edit this and it just uploads... That works even better for me because now I can be productive while I'm up in the wee hours of the night and I can get a video done. So I'm going to stop it right here. Sorry that I hope you didn't just come on because now I'm leaving. But, um, oh, let's see. I am one of your silent supporters. It's almost 5 a.m. here. So you're an early bird or kind of like a late early bird like me. But it's great to be able to be productive in these hours. And so from here until I get sleepy, I'm going to go ahead and read a book. And then hopefully that'll help me go to sleep. Um, but this was my first live ever. And um, hopefully I'll get the hang of it and then I can schedule when I'm going to do them. And also, I thought it would be better to do hauls live in case you guys have questions about any of these products. I can, you know, show them in real time. Like you can say, can you hold that bottle up again and hold it closer? And what does it say there? You know, that type of thing. So I figured that would be even better for you guys too to get a better view of the products and stuff that I'm getting in the stores. So on that note, I have more stuff I'm going to haul for you, but I'm going to end it right here because it's 42 minutes. So it's showing me how long it's been. Now I just have to figure out how I stop it. Yes, you have a blessed weekend and get you some much needed rest. I will definitely do that as soon as I'm sleepy. And you have a great day because you're about to start yours soon. So um, uh, let's see. How do I end this live? That's a good question. You can tell I'm new. Okay, so I'm going to hit this X and I think this X is going to close me out. So on that note, I'm going to say good morning, good night, good evening, whatever time it is for you. And I'm going to go read a book and um, hopefully I can consider this little test run a success. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.